I'll start out by saying that I am a mess. And that is not because we just finished finals week at U of L. But um, I'm figuratively going to represent your messy problem. Now, if you all would humor me uh, for a few seconds, if you would go ahead and close your eyes, please. All right, now open them. Your messy problem has just moved from the front of the room a good distance away from you to right here smack dab in the middle, okay? And for those of you who are behind me, you have fallen into the pit of procrastination. And it is too late to address me, I'm sorry. And for those of you who look at me dead in the eye, right beside me, you continue to look me dead in the eye, and you just brush me off your shoulder. And for those of you in the back, well, you have a little bit more time, but I warn you, I creep quickly, I creep quietly, and I creep stealthily until you come face to face with a problem that you can't address unless you address it right here and now. So this problem that I'm addressing um, is that Louisvillians will be at the mercy of their own preparation because I'm here to say that social security is going to disappear in the coming years. Now the solution for this lies in a crowd of hopeful hearts and bright minds. The solution is your own preparation. Now there are a couple forces that are driving social security to extinction. They are, one, the national debt, and two, the increased lifespan of the US citizen. Now I urge you to take action. We need to be informed. We need to advance our careers. We need to start saving and stop spending. All right, so for those of you who are young and reckless in the crowd, um, I hate to break it to you, but you will get older. Uh, I'll let you know that I just turned 20 this past month. And even though I'm not over the hill yet, I like to consider myself over the hump. Um, but it doesn't matter who you are, age is a thing and you will get older. And I say this because as I get older, I see my Louisville elders depend extremely on uh, the Social Security. And I see the damage done to our community. Now, if my generation thinks that it's going to get the same treatment, we're in for a rooted awakening. Now, first I'll address this problem. The disappearance of Social Security has two driving forces. Now, the greater of the two is the national debt. Now, some politicians have suggested to reduce this national debt, we cut Social Security. But this is $18 trillion of national debt, according to Forbes magazine. And if everyone in the US were to pay $53,000 right now, we could get rid of it. But I have a hard enough uh, time paying my college tuition, much less paying $53,000 to get rid of a debt. Um, and so the lesser of these two driving forces is actually a grace with a bad side effect. It is the increasing lifespan of the US citizen. Now a person born today will live about three years longer than a person born in 2000, according to Data360. Now this actually in turn increases government spending. You do the math and that's $43,000 more for everyone in the US. And I can guarantee you that no federal program is gonna to wanna to pay that. So now we see this problem, but I can only attempt to provide to you a solution. Actually, in a, a report done by the Department of Urban and Public Affairs, Louisville Young Adults Unemployment is at 26%. And that's a problem for a generation that needs it to spike. And so I suggest a way to prepare. Be an informed generation. People won't tell you this, but I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. Go ahead and grab a bag of chips and sit in front of the TV and read those magazines and read those blogs. Get your information from a multitude of sources. We need to know what state our economy's in. We need to know who our politicians are because we have a hand in our future and we need to start acting like it. And so after that, we have our lazy time in front of the TV. We need to have our button gear, get in gear time and uh, get a job. And I know that sounds like uh, a parent who doesn't want to pay for their kids' gas money anymore, but 
we need to get our foot in that job market door and start advancing our careers. Uh, there was an article in the Washington Bureau that says that teen employment has dropped 20% in the past year um, when we most desperately need it to spike. So here comes the tough part after the action plan. We have the financial plan. Um, and so we're dealing with financial loss. We need to stop all this superfluous <coughs> overspending. And I'm not talking about cutting out family vacations. But you know, a lot of times I see my U of L students, they go to the mall, they get in the store, their eyes get real wide, and the music starts playing. And then I hear the voices, I want it all, I want it all. They're like, no, no, you don't want it all, OK? Maybe one t-shirt, not five. Um, every penny counts, and it's good to get into good habits early. And so I not only urge you to stop spending, but to start saving. Uh, put money away with each paycheck. And you're not alone in this. Um, some companies will actually match the amount of money you put into a retirement fund up to a certain extent. So say you put away 10%, they may, they may match up to like 6%, and so you have a 16% deposit. And so I draw to an end my solution by saying that it actually isn't foolproof. But we can prove ourselves by taking on the responsibility. The problem we face is the future. Social security will disappear, and we as a vital and vulnerable Louisville community need to be proactive. The program will vanish because of the national debt and the increased lifespan. So we need to be aware of our situation, start advancing our careers, start penny pinching, and stop all that save. Please do save. Stop the spending. Um, and so our generation is going to suffer if we don't act fast. And so to conclude, I urge you do not let it get, do not let the problem get behind you to where you can't take care of it. Do not let the problem get beside you to where you have to take care of it right now. And do not let the problem get too close for comfort. Thank you.